Jackie Chakrabarty. I'm a professor of assistant professor of sociology, and I'm also coordinator of the gender studies program. Um, so in the side event, uh, my student body has a research project that we're working together. It's uh, looking at experiences at the intersection of religion and sexuality in Utah. So uh, I'm Monica English. I'm a senior here in integrated studies with my emphases in peace and justice studies and uh, in religious studies with a minor in gender studies. And at the UN, I'll be presenting on um, the research project that Professor Chakravarti and I are working on at, uh, about the intersection of religion and sexuality here in Utah. So our, ours is the, the one local um, research project, um, although we have many that, that span the globe. I'll also be talking about a project that uh, is upcoming for me. I've received a grant to go to Northern Ireland and interview women who are involved in the peace process in um, the 90s there. Uh, it's an oral history project as well as um, a, an interview project and I just found out yesterday it will be hosted in the oral history project archives here and be available for anyone who wants to go listen after I'm done. Oh, that's exciting. Nice. I'm Lynn England. Uh, I'm a lecturer in history and political science also. And uh, my student who is not here today will be presenting a project, project that we have been involved in looking at the experience of Tarahumara women in the uh, mountains of Mexico and their experiences, they've been forced to immigrate to urban areas in Mexico and try to recreate a mountain village in an urban setting. Mm. Do you want to introduce yourself? Oh yeah, definitely. My name is Becca Benjaban. Um, I'm a senior here and I'm the president of the Foreign Affairs Club. I'm um, the editor of our Youth Mountain Journal. Um, my major is world politics, but also an emphasis on biology and peace and justice as well. Um, and hopefully one day I would like to work in peace building. Mm. Okay, nice. <coughs> Um, so I'll go next then. My name is uh, Derek, <coughs> one of the current vice presidents in the Utah International Mountain Forum, which is a coalition of clubs here at UVU. Um, and our goal has always been to raise awareness uh, for mountain people around the globe, um, using Utah as a model for sustainable development and advocating especially for women who are from these mountain populations. In 2015, we hosted as students with the university the Women of the Mountains Conference, and that was just a few weeks after the adoption of the Sustainable Development Goals of the UN. So that was part of our efforts to help uh, begin to incorporate uh, and the Sustainable Mountain Development Goals here in Utah at our university. Um, we have something, if I could just take a moment. Oh, sorry about that. Thumbs up work, Ambassador. Um, last time, last year, um, the Ambassador from Kenya arrived. Um, and came and spoke with us and hosted us at CSW as well. And we had him sign just uh, this little poster so that we could display yeah. it prominently. Um, that was Ambassador Kamau. And we'd love to have uh, your signatures as well uh, for us so that we can display it prominently as well to thank you for yeah, the where I could, Where I could make the signature. Yeah, just on this poster right here, if you'd like to. He, he, uh, here. Yes, sir. I will write by Cyrillic. Okay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you very much, Ambassador. Thank you. Your Excellency, Excellency, my name is Matthew Rands. I'm a student here studying global politics and in the military as well, trying to get by. <laughs> um, at first, I wanted to just thank you for being able to sponsor our event. I know you could have used that tight, limited space that the UN has for your own country, but you so graciously have given it to us and our delegation to be able to present on how the UIMF, the Utah International Mountain Forum, which is a coalition of student clubs, can help advocate for the SDGs, in particular goal number five. If you can see, we have all of these students and faculty. Students, I believe, are one of the most precious resources we have in this world to be able to put forward 
and achieve those goals. So as a delegation, we'd like to present to you what we are going to do at the CSW 62 at your side event. Okay, thank you. Thank you very yes. much. So in that packet, as you'll see, on the right side is our written statement made by the Academy of, Rus of Natural, Russian Natural Sciences, a, an NGO under with ECOSOC status. Mm -hmm. And on the left, you'll see previous UIMF efforts, particularly the um, Conference of Women of the Mountains. And this has been highlighted by the UN in past times, showing that students can make a difference in the SDGs. Thank you. Including the United Nations Secretary General's report on Sustained Mountain Development 2016, which uh, became the uh, foundation for resolution which was adopted with, uh, that year as well. The uh, UIMF was for the first time mentioned ever, uh, not as a university, but as a student club. So that's why it was uh, quite uh, uh, great. And that's why when you are highlighting during that side event, it was as an uh, initiative student engaged learning and the uh, UIMF serving as a, some kind of extra curriculum model. That's why yeah, th thank you very much. Uh, I would, at the beginning, I would like to thank you for your kind invitation and opportunity to be your guest here and also to have a lessons after this uh, panel about uh, foreign politics on Bosnia and especially in the, in the UN. Uh, Listening what you are talking, I see that you are very knowledgeable people, very <laughs> competent people, and I think it's not easy to speak. You know everything about uh, the, uh, the 2030 development agenda, which is very, very important document on the UN, and I think many in the UN think that this strategy for development and this document is long term and will last for years. And it is useful not only for the poor country, maybe for the poor country will, m will benefit more than others, but also it is useful for developed country. And from my, my country, uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina is in specific uh, uh, political and uh, diplomatic position. We are now our uh, m most of our activity is concentrated to the gaining the full membership of the European Union. Mm -hmm. And my capital is concentrating fully in it. And we submit application to be member of the European Union last year. And before two days, we respond to the questionnaire to the European Commission. And we are now expecting the uh, AVI or uh, assessment of the European Commission of our preparedness and we hope that we will be member of the European, full, full plate member of the European Union for five to six years. In, in this time we will have to adopt at least 400 laws in which we will adapt our uh, political, social and economic system with the European Union. And in this job, we will also address the issue of the development, social, economical, and wider, wider issue. And so in our position, the, uh, the uh, uh, issue in the integration is uh, to some extent complementary issue to the Develop, developing agenda and for us uh, European standards are uh, also in, thi in this time are uh, very important for achieving the goal which is also the goal of the 2030 agenda. And uh, what we did, we uh, work a lot in the uh, agenda for sustainable development. We, and now new 2030 agenda is continuation of it. And we concentrate mostly on the f fight against poverty. And I think it's a real danger for many countries, and especially in the V country after the conflict, the equality is, uh, inequality is, 
is widening, there is more and more inequality in the society, it's not easy to address this issue, and because of that, there is more and more poverty in the society, and also we suffered economic, c until the economic crisis in 2008, I think. Mm -hmm. We have progress in fighting against poverty, but after that we stop that it, it is not easy to, to make advance. And in this activity we have a good cooperation with the World Bank, and World Bank provides us assistance in, in, uh, in uh, uh, drafting strategy for fighting poverty. With regard to the uh, we also concentrated on the right of the women in our society, but uh, I would, uh, I would turn to the previous communist system, Al although communist system had a lot of bad things, especially on human rights, uh, we now uh, uh, find that in the social system, uh, respect the right of women, more than it's, I think, we could imagine. And in the social system, the social system, we have tradition for, uh, for and ground for, wider, for the strengthening participation of the women, not only on the level on social economic rights, but also on the political rights, on the, on the level of the participation, on the, as a member of the parliament and, and, the, and the executive power and other, other segment of the society. And as an indication of this, I will tell you that we have more girls, student girls, than boys. I think it's something <laughs> unique. <laughs> it's not easy to find this example. And we have also achievement in a greater number of the women in peacekeeping operation, and it is great advantage. I think we could, the women uh, are much more easily to be recruited in peacekeeping operation, and we offer the women, and we, although we don't have too much peacekeepers, because it's very expensive and very complex uh, to achieve if we have a satisfactory level of the participation of women. Maybe I will now, to uh, <laughs> to leave the space for others to yeah, interact. Okay. If you would allow to introduce one of your uh, countrymen, it would be our colleague, uh, yeah. which is here at U UVU. And she also contributed to the conference in 2015 as well as a scholar. Mm -hmm. and Dobar dan. E, drago mi je. Ja sam Miloš Vukašinović. Ja sam inter... Ovako, malo urletim, ali imam meeting je deset, tako da prosim sam samo da se upoznam s vama. E, dobro, drago mi je. We understand each other very well, as you see in the Balkans. We have very good friendly relations. She has a class now, and if you'll take a photo for you, it's a picture. Thank you. And Excellency, we have just a couple of minutes left before you are making the lecture. If we would be able to have a group photo with the... Okay, I will be very pleased to. <laughs> because you are all younger than me, and I <laughs> think it's <laughs> privilege for me. <laughs> this is just a, a small little gift from you to to help you remember us here, too, as well. Okay, very stressful. Oh, yeah. When things get too <laughs> stressful. <laughs> To e for exercising. Yes. Okay. When we will take a photo, would you please do show them this way? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Please. Could you tell me how could we? <coughs> Maybe. Uh, of course. Oh, yes. Because she is uh, our woman from Chile at the moment. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need uh, 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 okay, any legs. Yes. <laughs> Wonderful. One, yeah. two, three. All right, and one more. Did one, you? two, three. Wonderful. 
Did you need the UVU sign in this picture? Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> we have the stress balls, they say you Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Thank you. So have you been in the picture? Yeah, because I see you've just taken a picture, and I want to, want to miss you. I will ask, uh, I will give my email to somebody to send me a picture. Yeah.